channel, ladies and gentlemen, I decided to do a little video here on uh, one of the initial devices designed to try and make our cars run cleaner, the PCV valve. Now, PCV stands for Positive Crankcase Ventilation. Now, uh, some people give it the cute nickname, uh, Pollution Control Valve. Now, it traces its roots a long, long time ago. This is just a simple cross-section of uh, an engine. You've got a bunch of pistons sitting there, you got a little crankshaft, and you got some motor oil. Now what would happen is that as the engine would run, uh, the oil would get hot, some of it would vaporize, uh, you would have some exhaust gas that would get mixed down in there and cook off some of the oil and, and some of the ash would get there, you would have fuel in, in that wasn't uh, burned that would mix in there. And eventually, you would have a whole bunch of gas of all this stuff that wants to basically, you know, uh, well, uh, expand out of the block. So what you would do is that uh, they would build engines really, really tough, really, really strong. And when you would open up a component of the engine, the gas would just vaporize out. But they realized that wasn't exactly the safest thing, and it required a lot of engineering to build these tough engines. So in order to try to make a more high-performance oriented engine, they came across with this idea. Essentially, we have a drip spout. Now what we have here is a block that has a whole bunch of uh, you know oil vapor and everything else that's sitting in there expanding outwards and it would go down this little like chute like a little pipe and over there it would start to condense and as it condensed it would drip down the tube all the way down to the roadway. Now in California due to the mountain range and the weather and other things they realized that with all these cars sitting on the highways as they tend to do in California traffic uh, would make a little bit of some oil slicks which could be dangerous if you hit one that was big enough but also when they would finally would evaporate again into the atmosphere now it would create things like smog and acid rain which isn't too good. So they needed to find a new way to deal with all this well you know oil vapor how to burn it off. This is just a simple diagram of an engine in transverse, which is what most car engines are today. And I'm just trying to illustrate what a PCV system is. All right, very simple and easy, not going to too depth, but all right, you have like, let's say something like an air filter, air goes in in here. This is your throttle body, which is basically your throttle where the air goes into the engine. This is something maybe like a big old cover on an intake manifold where the air goes in. Now each one of these things here roughly would be a piston. All right, it's like a six cylinder engine. All right, and this is the top of your valve cover. All right, it sits on top of the pistons roughly and it covers your valve train. What will happen is as the engine's running, all right, it will start pulling in air. All right, air all right, from the pistons, they're the ones that are sucking in the air into this intake manifold there, this big kind of box, I guess you could say. And, um, well, all right, uh, anything that's closest to the intake manifold, all right, is going to have the most vacuum pressure, all right, the most suction force, what I'm saying, all right. And uh, pretend this little lines I drew here, this is like a channel, all right, and it goes down into the, uh, the bottom part of the motor where all the, uh, motor, where all the oil sits. All right, so it sucks air actually out from where the oil is. All right, now that suction force, all right, is going to pull the air, all right, all underneath the bottom of the intake manifold where all the oil is sitting. It's going to suck out all that air, and it needs to, uh, you know, get air from somewhere, so it gets out from this little pipe. It's like a little tube that runs down into the bigger tube. This tube is where all the air goes into the main part of the engine, like I said, the throttle. This little part right here is going straight down through the valve cover into the bottom where all the oil sits, the crankcase. All right, so what will happen is that anytime oil starts evaporating, unburnt fuel, all right, exhaust gas gets mixed in with the oil, it will actually suck it out through a little PCV valve. And a PCV valve is kind of like a pressure regulated valve. Uh, when there's pressure in the engine and it wants to release all that gas because it's, you know, building up all that, uh, you know, fuel and exhaust and all that and vapor and all that stuff, it will just um, uh, let it out and it will go into the intake manifold and be burned. Burned just like gasoline. All right. Uh, that's its premise. The idea is you have a bunch of complex carbon strings and you break them down and try to make CO2 and water vapor out of them. Very simple. All right, and that's essentially how a PCV valve system works. Not very complicated.